This vehicle is the La Strada Avanti L. It's a van which is now approaching around 30 years of age, but this one is the 2020 model. It's a sort of a classic camper van, if you like. It's um, an idea which has been used by, or is being used, I should say, by uh, many companies. And uh, let's have a look around uh, where La Strada does it. There's one or two differences between this company and others, of course. Outside drawer. Coming in, we have got a semi dinette. Oh, I'll just walk you through the whole thing and show you the clever bit to start off with. The advantage of this is this big double bed at the back. And I put the double bed up because I want to show you something at the back. But we'll do that at the end of the film. You can see the uh, storage up here. Oh, it's quite deep as well. Okay, six meter long camper van, bear that in mind is the toilet, which quite honest is quite big. Now this here closes via, I'll show you this up there, a magnet. Let's see if we can get the clunk. There you go. Can you see that? So you've got the clunk of the magnet closing it. And clo doors close like that. Oh, oops. You got that one as well. And I'll hear it again. And that's how that closes. But because of the magnet, I think you could even leave it open <laughs> in transport. Bang. Now, another advantage about leaving this sort of thing open is because it sort of gives you a bit more elbow room as you're walking around the kitchen, for example, and, and in the gangway. Obviously, the gangway can't be too uh, wide, otherwise it wouldn't be, the toilet would be narrower. Right, well, La Strada's pretty good on the storage front, so we've got a couple of drawers there below the fridge. And they've got proper walls to them as well. Also got a tambour up here as well. Oh, and a good point is that it's not good. There are companies that don't have is the runner it just sort of doesn't end it's sort of been stuck in and then bang just it'll, it'll fall it'll fall off anyway here you don't have that problem in the kitchen you know more more drawers and with the same uh, high walls and as is the 2020 model you've got that in the sort of a bin. Now here there are two burners. Uh, one of the advantages of two burners is that it gives you space for large pots such as the sort of thing that I use in my van for example. Square shaped uh, sink is a much more convenient shape in my opinion. This is from the Italian company Can which has recently been acquired by a uh, French company and uh, you can see their, their um, products, particularly their kitchen stuff in lots and lots of vans now. Another feature here which is nice is to have uh, the USB chargers and you can stick your phone in that thing up there if you wanted to. I think well, that's really designed for kitchen utensils as and when you cook. Now I'm sitting now on the forward uh, bench and under this bench here is is the heater. The point of that is moving it under the bench and putting the water to the back is so that uh, when you're asleep at night you can't hear the heater come on. Um, maybe some people are particularly delicate sleepers and that is why that, that has to be done.
and there's a bit of storage and there's the heater in there oh you can also get through to the uh, the garage here if you need to make a quick exit that's the way out Now for the price, you're looking at around 60000 for this. Uh, having said that, it has been around for such a long time, as you will find vehicles on the second-hand market. Now they have, of course, introduced changes throughout the years. Uh, one feature is that the, the upholstery is quite firm. And uh, personally, I prefer that. I mean, if you don't want a firm upholstery, then that, that won't be to your liking. But I think that personally, I like to actually feel a bit of support. Look at all that space here. Now you can, you can get one bike in there. Maybe you get two. Well, maybe it'll push. <laughs> Maybe you have to get those ones with the, you know, the, the um, you can turn the uh, handlebars around. <laughs> Maybe two of them might go in. But, uh, but anyway, you can get quite a lot of uh, storage in there. Now, in the larger version of this van, the 636 centimetre long uh, Fiat Ducato, so it's 37 centimetres longer, which I'll show as a demonstration, you can certainly get uh, two in there. Uh, that's your gas cupboard, and here you've got a little cubby hole in there for your battery. But, 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 look at that, you can get more than that. Well, you can get more than one battery in there, but, but, it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be a narrow one. Uh, point of comparison, I'm going to take you down to the next one, so I'll take you this one, so I don't have to put the bed down in there. So the bed's the same here, yeah. except that the bed is. And for all these system, for all these systems, sorry. But you can see how much space there is there. So you can't get, I imagine, two bikes in, in that one. To compare this model here, which you've just seen, with that one on my right, you can see on the right with the higher roof, and higher roof does give uh, a lot more facilities. Let's have a look at them. So, double floor, two drawers outside, Huge amount of space in the bulwark, which is the ones only got a small amount of space. Same bed at the back, same kitchen, sort of separate shower. There's, oops, sorry. There's the toilet and there's the shower. It's sort of separate because you've got this, these doors here, but the much higher roof does give this uh, double floor which gives storage and heated double floor better for insulation. So it costs a bit more. I certainly would prefer that myself. See the, up there, the, the, the storage in the uh, bulwarks, very, very little of it. So you can't really do much with that. All in the field, of course. If you get a 2020 model, you can have as an option the nine-speed gearbox, which has been just introduced. But of all them, this is the one I would prefer. Again, a six-meter model, but but you've got this higher roof. You've got huge amounts of storage in here double floor storage in the double floor all of this storage 
big washroom at the back. No storage at the back though, because you've got the washroom. I sorry, no storage. Yeah, there is storage, but not very much of it. You can see it in another film anyway. I've done it separately. But you've got the beds up there. So that's this space has been achieved by having the bed in a different position. So if you like the sort of the storage under the bed is yourselves as you're sitting around the table. So right, I hope that was of interest. I've got a lot more uh, vehicles, not only from La Strada, but also from other companies as well on this site. So I hope you'll uh, subscribe. And for the, thanks for watching. I hope that was of interest. <laughs>